FreeMMOStation.com. My name is Skylet, and I'm here with Free MMO Station, as well as sponsored by Orcs Must Die Unchained, given the opportunity to show off the new build of this game, <laughs> as well as just kind of explaining this game for you guys. It's a little bit of a preview. So we're going to go over a lot of the different mechanics, uh, what makes it different, what makes it unique, what makes it special, uh, the card system, the characters, the wave survival, the towers, the traps, you know, the stuff that makes Orcs Must Die Unchained special and cool and fun. All right, guys, so what you're seeing right now is going to be the launcher, and we're going to go ahead and click play. Yes, you're going to get some gameplay. I'm going to show you the uh, mode called Battlegrounds, and we're going to be playing on the map called The Baths, which is the very first map there. And you can probably probably maybe beat this uh, solo. I actually lost the first time I played it, uh, but you can uh, play this co-op, and all these are co-op, and basically the whole game is co-op. Even its PvP mode has actually been reworked so that it is co-op. Like, the whole game is co-op uh, inspired, so you do have an endless mode, which is going to be horde survival kind of thing. Uh, you have battlegrounds, which is wave survival, but you you know, you actually have set waves. Uh, so, you know, at six, there's a boss wave. You finish that, you complete it, you move on to the next level. You have an arcade scoring system, and you also get some sweet loots for completing any of these game modes. Keep that in mind, guys. Unlock new traps, new characters, all sorts of neat go stuffs. Now we have Sabotage. We actually already did a video on that, uh, which is raw gameplay of me playing as Blackpaw, a melee drain tank type of character, as well as playing as Gabriella, who was a mage, uh, just well, actually just really just purely a mage at heart. Um, now today we're going to be playing as Maximilian Hype. Um, that guy is definitely really charming, uh, uses electricity, <laughs> yeah, as well as a crossbow, uh, but overall he's pretty very well rounded. So for any new player, definitely suggest him over uh, the other two characters that I showed in Sabotage. So, all right, anyways, what you can do in this game is is lay traps. You lay traps, um, and they kind of act as towers. Now, the first traps that you're going to access here are going to be a little bit more straightforward. You have things that just literally crush. You have, you know, arrows that just shoot out of walls, spikes that come out of the ground, um, and simple barricades. And then, you know, you have your tar pits. Um, but then you kind of start to get stuff that's a little bit more complicated. You have flip traps. Um, you got your push traps. You and then it just keeps going on and on. You get more specialty type traps as you play the game and you come better. You're rewarded with more very interesting and weird ways to play the game. Uh, so very interesting aspect there. And this is going to allow you to customize your gameplay. So you're not going to be able to just go into a match and use any of these. You do have a loadout. So, yeah, you got to kind of make a deck of cards and uh, you just use them. No RNG, though. It's you actually have a currency resource system. So as you you kill the things, you're rewarded with better ability to kill the things, which is pretty cool. Um, that's also actually going to go with your hero, too. As you kill things, you gain experience. And so if we click this guy, you can see his abilities and everything. But he also has upgrades. So um, as he levels up, then you can actually choose these different upgrades. So then you can become, you know, more awesome and stuff. There's gear that you can actually utilize as well in the game that you can also unlock. Uh, we have different parts and things. Um, I think, what are these for? And it's tempers a chance to trap. So these are actually going to be additions to your traps. Um, we also have guardians, which are pretty cool. So these kind of act similar in ways to towers, but they they stand there and they just kind of look awesome. They, some of them have more interesting abilities, uh, unique traits and stuff like that. Uh, and they also look freaking awesome. So and then we have traits here, uh, which you can actually further increase customization where you do more damage to certain creatures and stuff like that. So whenever since this is a co-op game, whenever it comes to party compositions, you need to think about the character, the, the traps you're using, the way you customize your character, um, the way that might be best for you as a certain character. Maybe you want to focus on killing certain bosses um, and all that good stuff. And you might change these, you know, intermittently between different levels. Uh, which is pretty awesome. And you do have consumables. Consumables, are, I believe, are mostly just uh, relegated to the PvP. And so these are things that are going to allow you to interact with the PvP. So right here, um, select one enemy hero and increase his or her aggro. Um, so yeah, that's how you actually interact in the sabotage game mode. But we already covered that in that video. Um, but that's there. So that's pretty interesting. Very similar to puzzle fighters, if you've ever played those or that genre. And the store has a lot of uh, co costumes. Like, just, just, just cosmetic stuff. Just, just fun Cute little stuff, and they're actually uh, really decent in my opinion there, but anyway, sponsored video, so I can't really review it, but anyways, they have a lot. Uh, I can say that they have a lot. Uh, in comparison to a lot of games that have just recently launched or in early access, they have a lot of cosmetics, and they have a decent plethora of characters. And you have to remember that they, these characters have a decent amount of customization to them, you know, with the traps and everything, how you can play them. So this roster and the number of them is very decent. And also the, the sort of comparing and contrasting the characters between themselves. If you actually go watch the Sabotage video and then watch today's gameplay, you'll see that all three characters play very differently. And those are just the starter characters that we start out with, obviously. 
Um, then you have characters like Stink Guy, Midnight. Um, this guy's more supportish. Uh, Midnight's kind of, I think, more assassiny. Um, and then you have more. So some are more tanky. Some are more AOE. Some are single target focused. Um, some are kind of in the in the between, kind of just a little bit, like Max a million. So. In, in between all this, this isn't quite a review, but just kind of like an objective, you know, uh, perspective here that I have. Like, it, there's decent customization here. And that's also part of the game. Especially when you go into the cooperative uh, component to the game. You're going to need to work with your team, and then also goes with not just, you know, actually being near them. Uh, not always. You, you Sometimes you need to go off on your own. Some characters are kind of, yeah, like I said, more assassin -y. You kind of flank around and stuff like that, or you go to different parts of the map. And uh, some you do, like Stink Eye, you do kind of want to be with your team, I believe. So, yeah, very interesting. Um, a lot of a lot of different stuff and things that you can do. And you need to keep that in mind if you want to actually win on some of the harder game modes. Already, I definitely already lost and saw that in my Sabotage uh, gameplay as well as today's gameplay. Um, definitely, there's some difficulty. So, yeah, here's all the skins. This is, this is what the gameplay has to offer. And, of course, you can pay to unlock things faster. And so that is going to be basically, basically, that's, that's the game. That's the game. You go and play matches, you unlock some new stuff, and then you go and kill some more things. And as you play, you get better at killing things, you get more stuff to kill things, and that's how you do. And Orcs Must Die Unchained. If you want to see what the actual visceral gameplay is like, then absolutely, let's go ahead and jump into a match. Alright guys, as we get started here, let's just talk about Maximilian here, the War Mage. Maximilian may not take himself seriously, but he wields serious power. Using his crossbow, Maximilian can stun and shock his enemies. He also has uncanny luck with traps, and he would add the ladies. <laughs> Unique can't touch this, creates a temporary lightning shield around Maximilian that reduces damage taken and reflects it back on his attackers. So overall, this class is very well-rounded, and he is ranged, and a little bit funny, I guess. <laughs> so, um, here we go, we have, uh, what is it, the Maximilian spends less coin when placing traps, that's pretty good. We also have the epic in your faces, fires a crossbow bolt that deals massive damage to the first target and deals area lightning damage to enemies behind it, which is pretty good uh, for bosses in the horde behind it. Shock Bolt fires lightning charged crossbow bolts for the main attack and then fires a lightning charged crossbow bolt that explodes on impact stunning nearby enemies for the right click there. So all in all pretty interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and make some traps. Let's do the do. I'm thinking what we're gonna immediately uh, jump on here is we're gonna focus really on the front prop. Should we focus on the front? Should we I think we're gonna focus really on the front here and we could spawn this guy. Let's go ahead and just place the guardian here. We get one guardian here, and we're only playing as one player here. Now this game is a cooperative game, but you know, for this footage, I'm gonna show you, you know, just the basics, and the ins and outs. Now these wisps are gonna show where the enemies are going to actually be running towards. So, I'd rather them be kind of funneled. Yeah, I'd rather them be pretty funneled. In fact, if I could just get them to like run, run like right through this guy, that'd be really fantastic. But I don't think it's gonna happen. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to barricade right here because I really want them to come all in one area. So I'm going to barricade right there and I'm going to barricade right there to get things started. Uh, and immediately I'm going to start up with a, uh, let's do a crusher trap because well, I don't know why not, man. And let's go ahead and do a par a tar pit. Oh my gosh. Pit there. And uh, let's do arrows here and arrows here. So these are all very self-explanatory traps. But as you play through the game, you'll get increasingly more complicated and convoluted traps. I promise you. Okay, so there we go. We'll do spike traps uh, much later on, but we're just going to do arrow traps here. Pretty safe, pretty safe stuff that we can uh, use. And probably a spike trap to immediately begin here. So they're going to they're gonna run through the middle here, and they're going to branch out later. So what I might want to do is immediately block off, I'm thinking this one. I'm thinking this path. So as soon as I can block this off, the better. So let's go ahead and just, let's see. Okay, so I can't block off the rest of it. We'll block that off um, next next time there. I think I think I'd be able to block that off pretty easy. Anyways, here we go. I'm uh, I'm ready. I think I'm 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 good to go. I'm not I'm not scared or, or anything. Also, we do have upgrades here, so keep that in mind. Yeah. Now, if you haven't seen the other gameplay where I played as Gabriella, um, and also Black Paw in the sabotage game mode, you might want to go and uh, take a looky do over that. All right, so I'm ready up here. Let's do this. Now, this is definitely got some difficulty, friends. There's definitely some difficulty here, and hopefully, I don't uh, mess up too much. Remember, it is mostly a cooperative game, but this is the first non-tutorial level, so I think I'm going to be good here. Oh, here they come, friends. Here they come. Now, there are actually different guardians. This is the guardian that I have right now. Oh, boy. All right, let's do some deeps. Now, I really want to focus on the back here. Now, right now, we're just going to get some green, some green dudes, some, oh, basically fodder, essentially fodder. But it's going to get to a point where things get kind of insane pretty quickly. Now, the fact that I don't have any traps up there and I have no distractions and I'm not distracting up there and 
You know, they're, they're gonna they're gonna really do a lot of damage to my guardian here. Hey, I'm no I'm no pro at the game. I, I'm not gonna pretend that I am. Definitely not. Oh baby, damages. Um, but yeah, if my guardian dies, then that's that's gonna suckle dues. Oh no, get the fast guys. So there they are a mix of enemies here. Mix of enemies. Some um make sure you really get the fast guys. If you see the number at the top here, any creature that goes through my portal, which you saw at the very beginning there is going to dock down the number, so it's not just about brute force attrition and the waves, sometimes some things will sneak past you. And the way traps work is uh, also kind of complicated with the different kinds of creatures. Now the waves are happening pretty fast here. Now I really want them to come in a specific location, hopefully they can't cross here now? I don't think they can, I think they, they must run through the other way, so ho I hope? There's hope, <laughs> maybe? Hoping? There's the hoping friendos. We'll put another trap there and... Really, we need way, 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 way more. So we're gonna put an arrow trap there, and uh, we'll keep. Uh, I'll do another tar. I don't know where they're gonna run through. Like here, hereish, hereish sounds goodish. Sure, because why not? All right. So you see, the guardian's going down super fast. So maybe having some defenses up there, or just not even having a guardian up there, having it um, much later near the portal, would have probably been much, much better. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Keep that. In, learn from my mistakes, and keep that in mind. So I want to use my F on big creatures. Oh, some, we got some speedies. We got some speedies, guys. All right, let's use our F here. I mean, our E, sorry. And, oh, I, got, I did some shocks. So he does got, he has some AOE. He's got some things like, yeah, overall, he's a pretty well-rounded character. He's got some stunnages. Yeah, sit there in the trap. See, the traps activate, like, once. Uh oh, I'm taking some damage. Let's go ahead and use Q. Let's use Q, use, uh, use the abilities. Now, see right here, we, I probably want a catapult trap up there. Not a catapult, but a swinging mace would be pretty hype. Probably, so let's go ahead and just keep doing the things. Just keep pressing the button. So these are some big guys, man. They're going the distance. Yeah, having a guardian back here would be pretty awesome. Bada bing, bada boom, no! Okay, we lost, okay, see, he went into the portal. He went into the area that I really don't want him to go in. We got an ability, though. Increases the accuracy of Shock Bolt. Generates three coin per second. That sounds pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and do that for more trapples. Love me some trapples. So we're gonna head and uh, just get a lot of arrows here. A lot of them, ladies and gentlemen. A no joke amount. Let's do a swinging uh, mace here. I think they'll they'll come about about right here. I think, and I can't put this trap uh, here. You put it like here though, and and here, and yeah, just just trying to just trying to help out. Now I need to spam. I need to spam traps though. It's gonna be pretty important that I do that, and I need to make sure that I keep attacking them here. And uh, okay, so while while we have a little bit of free time, let's keep spawning these things. Um, here, no, they're running through. They run through. No! Okay, that was just that was just a little bit of physics. That was just a little bit of physics hype. We also have our unchained ability, which we're just gonna go ahead and activate. Just kind of an overall buff, uh, overall epicosity. Yeah, no, there we go. No, speed. Where's Speedy? Get it, get back here, Speedy. Yeah, keep him slow. There we go. There we go. As long as we can survive these waves. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we gotta place traps. We gotta go ham and cheesels. With these traps, man. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna run through here. They have to run through here, and they're gonna exit through there at the minimum. At the minimum, they're gonna do that. I think I can place another one like right here. That should be fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just spike it up right here. Actually, we should probably tar it up right here. No, we're gonna just spike it up. Just spike it up. Just spike it up. Okay. Just just go ahead and spike it up. Maybe I should have tarred. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, I'm probably gonna tar like here ish. Who knows? Let's just hit ready. Let's just let's just go with it. Now potions do drop too. Potions do drop. Okay. Uh, I'm not scared at all, guys. I got this. I believe. And yeah, no guard no guardians remaining was definitely a giant mistake on my part here. So here we go, and we'll just slowly move backwards in, as we uh, become confounded, as we kind of get hoarded up here. Now, we, I haven't seen any enemies that break barricades. I imagine if you do fully uh, barricade, then instead of just running past it, they will attempt to break it. Um, but also, I think that there later on will be creatures that do that. There are a plethora of creatures to uh, encounter here. So right here, it's a little bit more standard. Let's go ahead and just use this ability. Uh, maybe maybe should have saved it because I see some big guys back there. I see some biggles. Oh, we got, uh, let's see. We got increases absolutely stunning bolt, uh, increases the initial damage. Let's see, I'm gonna go with uh, G here. We're gonna level that up. Boom, baby. There we go, okay, we're gonna use our E on this. Oh, oh that was a big guy-ish too, I guess, so we're gonna use that. Do this, do the damages. I'm trying. 
I'm trying, guys. Okay, so we're get it's getting kind of intense here, guys. It's getting kind of intense. Oh, but we got lots of traps here. We got lots of traps. They don't slow down, but we got lots of traps. Now, slowing them down is going to be pretty important, so... Yeah. Now, I blocked off the other way instead of this way, because the other way doesn't have a roof like this, so I get extra defenses here, so... That's just a little bit of tactical thinking there. Now, if some people can... I think some people can uh, knock back, have knockbacks. So maybe you can knock them into the uh, water there. I don't know. I actually know that. Get some of this. Okay, the wave is, is, is happening, man. The waves are... are is coming. It's a coming, boys. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, definitely a, a trap there. Let's see. What can, we, can we, what can we get? Can we get? Can we put this here? Okay, that's pretty good here. I'll put these uh, there and there. Sure, because why not? Um, let's see. I could maybe put another arrow here. I don't think it's really going to do too much, to be honest. Um, another arrow here and some spikes. Oh, boy. Um, just in case they get through, more spikes. The spikes are, are nice. Yeah, spikes are nice. I do have a healing item I can always use. Okay, here we go. We gotta, we gotta do some damage, because the traps aren't enough, guys. It's not a pure tower defense. It's an action tower defense game. And as you can see, the action is definitely quite a component to this title. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Very corridor-oriented game, though. Oh, got some health there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we're doing, we're doing, we're going swimmingly, man. We got this, guys. No problemo. Let's actually, um, I'm gonna put a slow up here so that they kind of, uh, hoard up. Maybe just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I could do a bear. I could put a barricade, actually. So I can force them to just kind of go in awkward positions and run around if I wanted them to. I could do that. That's not, uh, not impossible. Let's see. Where could I, where could I barricade them? Like, wait, why, why would I? Why, actually, yeah, why, why would I? Why, why am I even thinking about this? Why am I even contemplating this? Who knows? But, uh, let's get some more traps. Let's see. Can I get some more arrow traps? I think I'm actually, nope. I can do a little bit more of the arrow traps. Um, let's see, we can actually sell, oh, um, I think I do want another one of these guys. I think that could be good. Um, I think I actually want to move this over a little bit, so let's sell this and move this over. So then we can have a second one here. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yes. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that, guys. It's looking absolutely medieval. Let's, uh, let's go with that. Okay, so, we gotta slow up there, um, so that they kind of bunch up a little bit. At least that's my, my train of thought there. So, yeah, as long as they're all together, then, uh, you know, my AoE attacks and the traps are AoE as well. That's really what you want. You want them to huddle up together, and uh, you want to just do the deeps. Oh, yeah, and you have an arcade-style scoring system as well, guys. Keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and just... Yeah, no, awesome. I'm loving it. Okay. Destroy this. Destroy combo. Combo count. Uh-oh, this guy's a little bit, little bit more uh, feisty. Okay, we got to focus on this guy. We got to go ham with this guy. Now watch out, watch out, don't get too close. Uh oh, special attacks too. No, actually, did not realize that. Did not realize that was a mechanic. This might be an issue. This might be a thing, guys. I, I think I might have wasted that. Okay, so the boss is down. Awesome, we, we did fantastic. Our traps actually worked out, even though we don't have a guardian. Would have been a lot wiser to, uh, at least in this current setup, have a guardian in the back. But I think we actually made it. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Now keep in mind, guys, if you haven't seen other characters of the other gameplay that we did, actually, uh, like Black Paul and Gabriella, there are a number of different kinds of characters. You have support-oriented characters, you have more solo-y type of characters like uh, Maximilian here. You have a number of different kind of characters and ways to play, especially with the collection of traps. Either way, guys, uh, there's a lot that you can do. There's a lot of content in this game. Hopefully this preview, you know, actually elucidated some of that content, gave you a proper, you know, peek into the game. And I hope you guys enjoy and have fun. My name's Skylint. Me with Free MMO Station with the sponsored content by Orcs Must Die Unchained, and I'll see you in the next one.